So let's start uh, solving the problems of uh, one dimensional convolution. Okay, right. So let's take the two functions or two different signals. Right? Okay, x of n is equal to this is 1 minus 1, 0 plus 1, 2. Okay, let's say this is the x for that. Let me consider the second function that is h of n that is equal to 1, 1, minus 1 and a plus 1. Okay, for let, let me keep the problem as simple as possible. So let me start with uh, both the cases with the starting point as 0. I don't want to make it complicated by taking it uh, even on the left hand side of the 0. Okay, 0 index. Let, let's keep it simple. So first objective always you try to uh, represent the given function in the delta format. So what is the equation? Delta of n minus delta of n minus 1 then 0 then plus delta of n minus 3 then plus 2 times delta of n minus 4. I hope this is fine. Similarly, we can write the h of n equation that is delta of n plus delta of n minus 1 minus of delta of n minus 2 plus delta of n minus 3. Okay, all right. <clears throat> the first objective is to convert the given equation in the delta form. Then perform the convolution. Let me say my intention is to calculate y of n which is equal to x of n convolution h of n. So since both the functions are one dimension, right, this is a one dimensional convolution. Okay. So next what I do now, uh, I don't apply the equation of convolution, but I will apply the convolution in terms of the delta itself. So this is equal to, let me write my first function, that is x of n. What is x of n? That is delta of n minus delta of n minus 1 plus delta of n minus 3 plus 2 times delta of n minus 4. This is my first function. This convolution with the second function. So that is delta of n plus delta of n minus 1. Then write the next number that is minus delta of n minus 2 plus delta of n minus 3. Okay, now look at the uh, the property which are so we are supposed to use. I'll write the property over here. If at all you see delta of n minus m, delta of n minus m into, not into, sorry, convolution, delta of n minus k is equal to delta of Simply n minus whatever is m minus k. That is the equation okay, of convolution using delta representation. So I have to actually now, first I need to convert uh, this convolution into the required format. So it's something like delta of n into this. In the sense not into, it's a convolution. Like how you multiply several terms. Now same thing can be done with the convolution as well. So delta of n convolution with the next number. Delta of n convolution this, delta of n convolution this, finish that, then go to the next number. This convolution this, this convolution that, and so on. Okay, so we are going to do that. Now we'll write the uh, step. Okay, so this is equal to, next step, separate the terms and write. So delta of n convolution, delta of n. That's the first term into the first term. Okay, then plus, same thing, delta of n convolution, the second term, what is that? Delta of n minus 1. Then delta of n with the third number, that is plus 
delta of n convolution minus of delta of n minus 2. Okay, then plus delta of n convolution with delta of n minus 3. So, first term is over, right? Do this for the second term. Minus of delta of n, uh, not n, sorry, it's n minus 1, the second term. Okay, I'm, I'm doing with respect to this term. Right, so that is minus of delta of n minus 1 convolution. Look at the second uh, term, that is delta of n over here. Right. Next, I'll go to. I'm going to do with this term. So that is delta of minus of delta of n minus one should be convolved with this. So that is minus delta of n minus one convolution delta of n minus one. Okay. Then minus delta of n minus one convolution minus of delta of n minus two. All right, minus of delta of n minus 1 convolution delta of n minus 3. Are you okay with this? <coughs> Let's proceed further. Right, once uh, this is done, next I have to do go with the next number. Right, so that is plus delta of n minus 3. This is the one I'm going to convert with all the terms once again. So that is delta of n right then plus delta of n minus 3 delta of n minus 3 convolution with the second term that is delta of n minus 1 then plus delta of n minus 3 convolution with uh, minus of delta n minus 2 then once again plus delta of n minus 3 convolution with plus delta of n minus 3. Okay, the, the last term I am going to consider. Uh, okay, plus 2 times delta of n minus 4 convolution delta of n. Okay, plus once again 2 times delta of n minus 4 convolution delta of n minus 1 plus 2 times delta of n minus 4 convolution minus of delta of n minus 2 and the last term plus 2 times delta of n minus 4 convolution delta of n minus 3. Are you okay? All the terms we wrote. Now simply apply this equation, right? I just have to apply this for every term, right? Compare it with the original equation and write the answer. So for example, first term there is no m and no k. You see it is delta of n minus 0 into delta of n minus 0, correct? So when that is the case, what should happen to the answer? It is delta of n minus 0 minus 0 means it is delta of 0 itself, delta of n itself, correct? <coughs> Are you fine with that? Okay, so the result I am trying to write now, so this is equal to, let's write the term by term also. Okay, so this is equal to, first term delta of n convolution of delta of n is simply delta of n. Next, go to this term, right, delta of n minus 0 convolution delta of n minus 1. So the answer should be delta of <coughs> n minus 0 minus 1 which is delta of n minus 1. Correct? So next number plus delta of n minus 1. Next amplitude is negative because some delta of n e convolution minus of delta n. So it's like positive into negative is negative. Answer is delta of n minus 2, right? Like that you keep writing. So plus delta of n minus 3, right? That is this term. Then I am writing this answer. So minus of delta of n minus 1, 
Okay, right now you look at this. We have both the term n minus m and n minus k, right? So this is nothing but negative delta of. You can see we have n minus one, n minus two, right? Both of them you write answer. So this is delta of n minus, right? How much? Two. Okay, yeah. Like that, please uh, continue. I'll I'll just call back in. I'll just uh, come back in one minute. Okay, I have to uh, just pick up a call. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, let us continue. So we solved the first one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, next term, right? Uh, that is, I'm writing this answer now, right? So minus of minus is positive plus. And the next term is n minus 1 convolution n minus 2. So that should be delta of n minus 3. Very simple, correct? Okay, let's go ahead. Next number is minus of delta of n minus 4. Correct? Then plus delta of n minus 3. Next one plus delta of n minus 4 then minus delta of n minus 5 right next number is positive plus delta of n minus 3 n minus 3 so n minus 6 correct then now you see 2 will come into picture so plus 2 times delta of n minus 4 right then plus 2 times delta of n minus 4, n minus 1 is n minus 5. Then it's negative 2 times delta of n minus 6. And the last term is uh, plus 2 times delta of n minus 4, n minus 3, that is n minus 7. Okay, all right, we did this now. So the next part, right? Simply club all the terms containing, right, delta of n together, n minus 1 together, n minus 2 all together. So, n minus n delta of n term only 1 is there. So, you are in the final answer, delta of n comes only once. So, check the terms containing delta of n minus 1. 1 here, 1 here, only that much, right? Right, both of them have opposite signs. So, because of which you can understand that they cancel out. Right, so that means I don't have to write a, a term containing delta of n minus 1. Okay, similarly, go to the next term, n minus 2. You keep searching for where are the terms containing n minus 2. I have two terms and both are negative, so I can add minus 2 times delta of n minus 2. All right. Ah, then n minus 3, you keep checking how many n minus 3s you have. 1, 2, 3. I can see 3 of them. So this is 3 times delta of n minus 3. Keep searching for n minus 4. I think two of the terms will cancel. And there is another term. So plus 2 times delta of n minus 4. Okay, right. Then let's search for n minus 5. I have 1 minus 1 and plus 2. So minus 1 plus 2 is plus delta of n minus 5. <coughs> then uh, searching for n minus 6, I think we have minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1, minus delta of n minus 6, and there is only one term, that is plus 2 times delta of n minus 7. Okay, let's, let's plot this so that we get the final answer. This is y, so I just have to plot this starting from n, uh, n equal to 0 till n equal to 7. Okay, right. So this is the plot. And let me say this is n equal to 0. Okay, so that is n equal to 0. I need n equal to 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. All 
right and uh, at n equal to 0 uh, let me write I think maximum plus 3 is required and minus 1 is required okay so let's write this is 1 2 3 this is minus 1 this is y y of n versus n okay simply let us plot so at uh, 0 the magnitude is uh, 1 right so at 0 the magnitude is 1 right and at uh, 1 there is no answer so at n minus 1 is not there so that is 0 okay at n equal to 2 you have minus 2 okay I think we need a till minus 2 let me any extra so this is say minus 2 okay let's just draw this is minus 2 okay at uh, n equal to 3 this is plus 3 okay then at n equal to 4 plus 2 then at uh, n equal to 5 this is plus 1 okay and at uh, n equal to 6 it is minus 1 and at n equal to 7 this is plus 2 Okay, so that is the answer right so you had two original signals by x and h you perform the convolution using the first method which is the easiest and straightforward simplest method using an equation right so it's the easiest one but there is a lot of calculation to be done in terms of this kind of calculation right you have to multiply like normally how you multiply you have to expand then you simplify this is the uh, fundamental requirement of this kind of problem okay all right now i'll give you one problem for you to solve now so that we can make sure that you understood the whole concept okay right so x of n is equal to 1 minus 2 3 minus 1 4 okay that is x of n h of n is equal to minus 2 minus 3 0 0 plus 2 and plus 1 and plus 3 okay both are going to have this as the index y of n is equal to x of n convolution h of n all right equals to minus 2 times delta n plus delta of n minus 1 3 times delta n minus 2 n minus 3 okay minus 6 delta of okay minus 15 times delta of n minus 5 7 times delta of 6 minus 5 delta of n minus 7 plus 8 n minus 8 plus 1 into delta of
N minus nine. Twelve into okay. Twelve times delta of delta of N minus ten. Okay. Okay. Three four five. All right. Okay, we'll verify this later. Okay, there is another method to verify whether this answer is correct or not. Okay, I'll tell you that later. Okay, now actually I'll give you another problem. You can maybe you can take it as homework because it's going to take some time, right? But uh, that's also pretty important, right? I will give the indexing uh, variety of indexing in the sense, not starting from zero. I'll give the one which actually starts on the le left hand side. Okay, so this is x of n equal to this is 2.5 minus 3.15 0 0.75 1.15 minus 4.05 this is where the x equal to 0 n equal to 0 okay and h of n is equal to minus 1.5 2.5 Seven five minus three point six five four point one five and five point five. This is the point where the n is equal to zero is going to lie. Okay, uh, try to solve by yourself, right? And uh, uh, we'll discuss the answer in the next session.